प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स ऑन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू कंस्ट्रक्शन सीक्वेंस एनालिसिस ऑफ जी प्लस फाइव बिल्डिंग बाई यूजिंग इटेप सॉफ्टवेयर ओके बेसिकली द कंस्ट्रक्शन सीक्वेंस एनालिसिस इज नथिंग बट द एनालिसिस ऑफ एनी काइंड ऑफ द बिल्डिंग अंडर द कंस्ट्रक्शन सीक्वेंस प्रोसेस ओके सो बेसिकली फॉर द जी प्लस फाइव बिल्डिंग इनिशियली वी विल कंस्ट्रक्ट द ग्राउंड स्टोरी फर्स्ट स्टोरी सेकंड स्टोरी थर्ड स्टोरी फोर्थ स्टोरी फिफ्थ स्टोरी ओके सो फॉर दिस रेस्पेक्ट स्ट्रक्चर of g plus 5 structure initially we will uh, take the results which is related to the ground story structure so then after that we have to go through the first story structure results and uh, then after that we have to go to the second story structure results in the same process we have to proceed to the third fourth fifth okay so this is also one of the most important concept in etap software so i will show you the how to model the building and how to do the construction sequence analysis by using etap software so here i am selecting etap 2018 version software So initially, I am selecting the file option, new model option. So here we have to select the user built-in settings and select the display units as per the metric SI system. So here I am selecting steel design code as per the Indian standard system. Again, I am considering the steel design code is IS 800 code and this respected concrete code is IS 456 code. Click on OK option. So after that, we have to define the uh, grid dimensions as well as story dimensions. So for this respected building, just I am assuming number of base along horizontal direction are four and vertical direction are six here. So spacing just I am considering here as three three and number of stories here I am considering it as six stories for this respected structure and typical story height is three meter I am considering and bottom story height is three meter. So click on grid only option, click on OK option. So it will open your respected grid lines here like this. Initially, we have to define the materials. So go to click on material properties. so click on add option so firstly i will select the indian code which is related to the concrete section m30 grid click on add option okay again i am selecting steel section which is related to the rebar section as per the considerations of the 500 section click on okay again i am click on okay so select okay option so after that we have to define the beam size column size go to define section properties which is related to the frame sections so initially we have to add the property click on add new property option i am selecting concrete section so let us consider the dimensions of the beam so here i am taking 0.35 cross 0.35 is the dimensions of the beam and material will be of m30 grade select this respected dimensions of the section which is related to the 350 cross 350 here so click on the reinforcement section here and select the beam option only so select here longitudinal bar which is consisting of hysd 500 500 again i am considering this respected top cover and bottom cover will be of 35 35 click on okay again i am selecting okay option so after that we have to define the column size click on add new property select the rectangular section so here i am selecting the column which is consisting of 0.45 cross 0.45 dimensions and material will be of m30 grid select this respected depth here i am taking here as 4 uh, 50 450 click on reinforcement to be checked and this respected for the column and this is for hysd bars here like this so again i am selecting this respected number of bars along or uh, two direction as well as your three direction or four so click on okay option so after that click on okay so now we have to delete all the properties except this beams and columns so for that select the delete multiple properties option initially so here i am selecting this property again i am selecting this respected properties click on delete frame sections again we have to select this respected property delete here click on okay so it will add your respected beam section and column section here like this so after that we have to define the slab section go to define option section properties which is related to the slab section add here select the slab which is of 150 mm select the material type is m30 grade so here i am selecting membrane section which is consisting of 150 mm click on okay again i am selecting slab one delete property here again plank one delete property here let us consider click on okay now we have to assign this respective property for the building firstly we have to select this all story option so initially we have to select the quick draw beams option so here i am selecting the beam property name so just i am selecting all this section here like this again i am selecting i section here so select the property name so here i am selecting here as column section so select this respective property here like this so after that we have to select the slab section select the property name from deck to slab 150 so drag to the respected model here like this now we can see all the beams and column sections are assigned here so after assigning all these properties we need to delete the property set the ground story so for that firstly we have to click on this up arrow option so again we have to select the one story option here select this respected section set the base click on delete option otherwise you can go to the edit option here on the top 
okay so you can delete the property as per your considerations okay so after that we had to apply the load cases which is related to the gravitational load cases for this building so initially i'm selecting define option so for this respected building for simple understanding just i'm selecting the load cases which is related to the dead and live load condition system only so go to load patterns so it was already defined with the dead load condition live load condition so initially i will apply the loads which is related to the dead load so for that firstly we have to select all the building go to assign option joint load so here i am selecting joint point load forces add to existing load con condition and global direction 1111 okay click on apply option so it will apply your respected self weight of the structure so after that we have to apply the external wall load for this respected building so basically we have to calculate the external wall load depends upon your external wall thickness so here we have to consider the external wall thickness will be of 230 mm 0.23 multiplied by your respected uh, Uh, unit weight of the brickwork multiplied by your respected each floor height 0.23 multiplied by 20 multiplied by 3 which is equals to 13.88 value okay so for that firstly we have to select go to select option property frame sections select the beam here go to select option close option go to assign option here go to frame line load distributed so click on add to existing load so here we have to give the intensity as 13.8 click on apply here click on okay option so after applying this respected intensity we have to apply the internal wall load so for that again we have to select the previous section go to assign so here i am selecting frame line load distributed condition again i am selecting add to existing load which is related to the 7.5 value click on apply option here so again we have to click on the okay option here okay so after that we have to apply the uh, parapet wall load also so for that select the previous section go to assign frame line load distributed load so here i am selecting this respected load is 3 so click on apply option click on okay so after applying this respected load case we need to define the uh, floor load condition system also so for that initially we have to select select option properties here so select the slab section See, here i am selecting slab 150 section click on select option close option go to assign shell area load uniform condition system add to existing load so here i am considering a uh, floor load will be consisting of 1.5 click on apply option click on okay so after that we have to apply the live load for this respected system okay so for that firstly we have to select the previous sections which is related to the slab section so otherwise you can go to the select option select option properties which is related to slab select s150 here select option close option now we have to apply the load which is related to the live load go to assign for that shell area load uniform select add to existing load condition select the live load so here i am selecting the load is 3 click on apply option so it will apply your respected 3 kN per meter square live load for this building so after applying all this respected load case we need to apply the support conditions so for that initially we have to go to the bottom story for this building so here we have to select the all the node points at the base go to assign option so here i am selecting joint point load restraints option select the fixed support apply here okay option so after that we have to analyze this respected structure under considerations of your respected load cases so for that go to analyze check models initially we have to check the joint checks for any kind of the errors click on okay so it will check your respected errors which is related to the joint checks so here my message was showing here model has been checked no warning message so so after that we have to go to the analyze option here go to uh, set load cases to run option so initially we have to click on the run now option so it will do the analysis for this respected building so initially we have to check uh, save this model so here i am selecting check 3 model as per my considerations name okay so it will do the analysis which is related to your respective gravitational load cases under dead loading condition and live loading condition so after that i will show you how to uh, apply the uh, construction sequence analysis for this respected building under the action of your respective load cases okay now you can see this is the deflection of the building under considerations of the dead load condition so after analysis is completed after the deflection value is obtained so initially we have to unlock this model click on the unlock option click on okay so after that we have to define the construction sequence analysis load case so for that firstly we have to go to define option here so in the last it is consisting of auto construction sequence case here okay so click on this respected option so it will ask your respected uh, construction sequence load case uh, assignment method here like this so it will be consisting of general option with uh, case active 
so initially i am selecting the construction case active case so it will open your respected auto sequence load combination option here like this again you can select the geometry non linearity option so for this respected building we are not considering any kind of the geometry non linearity function so that's why we have to skip this respected uh, p delta function as well as your p delta plus large displacement function okay so after that we have to select the construction sequence so here it is showing that combine this number of stories in each construction sequence group so for this respected building it is consisting of six number of the slabs okay basically it is consisting of six number of the slab so here it is consisting of six number of the uh, numbers of the stories okay so for the respected stories you can consider the construction sequence analysis for each two stories or each one stories okay so basically i am considering here as one story for each construction sequence sequence okay so again we have to select the load patterns so it will be consisting of your respected dead loading condition live loading condition so here for this respected construction sequence analysis most of the people will consider dead load condition system only okay so again we have to select the design combinations so here it is consisting of replace the uh, dead load type case with this load case in all default combination so initially you don't need to check this respected bar initially we have to click on okay option okay so after that we have to check that whether the load case is generated for this construction sequence or not okay so go to define option so select here as uh, load cases here okay it will be consisting of dead loading condition live loading condition and it was generated auto sequence analysis construction sequence analysis load combination here like this okay so you can select this respected load case and click on the modify option okay so it will show you your respected properties for this respected auto construction sequence case it is consisting of the number of stages here like this which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 why because we are taking the six number of the slabs for this respected building so that's why we are constructed the six number of the stages you can select this stage operation option okay it will show you your respected stage operations for this respected section so this is the stage operation for the first stage and you can select the second stage select the third stage fourth stage fifth stage and this is the last stage for the building section okay so you can click on the uh, show stage tree option also so it will show you all the stages and your respected apply load cases for this respected section okay so again we have to click on okay so again we have to click on okay option here again i am selecting cancel option here okay again i am selecting okay option here okay now all the definition part which is related to the uh, auto construction sequence analysis is done so now we have to run the analysis so for that click on this run analysis option so it will do the analysis process for this respected structure under considerations of the load cases which is related to the dead loading condition live loading condition and construction sequence analysis load case okay so after analysis process completed the deflection diagram is shown here like this for the respected dead loading condition okay so for this respected uh, structure initially we had to see the uh, shear force diagram as well as bending moment diagram under the action of the dead loading condition so for that go to display go to select the shear spandle forces frame forces here select the dead load select the axial force here apply here now we can see this is the force which is related to the axial force so again i am selecting the moment three click on apply now we can see this is the moment diagram for this respected structure under the action of your respected load case so after that click on the close option now we have to see the results which is related to the construction sequence method okay so for that initially we have to click on the display option so go to deform shape option so firstly we have to consider the load case which is related to the auto sequence here okay so you can consider the step number as per your consideration so here i am considering step number which is of one mode okay so you can consider the user defined scaling option okay depends upon your considerations so here i am taking the random default value here so click on the up, uh, so click on the apply option okay so it will show your respected diagram which is related to the deflection for the ground story model only why because in the starting of the project we will construct the ground story model only so that's why that uh, diagram is showing for the respected ground story you can select any one of the joint point for the respected values of uh, joint label and numbers and forces which is related to that joint okay so initially i will show you this respected uh, section in elevation section select that just i am considering here as one click on apply click on okay option so now we can see this is the elevation section for the one again you can consider for the a section also click on apply option so you can click on okay option okay you can consider this respected construction sequence otherwise you can keep here it as 3d model also so after that we have to see the deflection diagram for the first story okay so for that we have to click on this arrow 
now you can see it will load your respected next stage for the building section again you can click on this respected option so it will show your respected deflection diagram for this again you can click on this option now you can see this is the deflection diagram now we can see this is the deflection diagram again you can select the last story now you can see this is the deflection diagram for this respected building under the construction sequence load case in the same process you can see the shear force diagram bending moment diagram also go to display option forces select the spandrel forces so here i am selecting shear 2 click on apply option so it will show your respected uh, shear force diagram under the action of dead load you can consider the auto sequence here so click on the shear force to click on apply option here so now you can see it will load your respected shear force diagram for the ground story initially we had to study this so the sequence of your respected building here like this which is related to step 1 step 2 step 3 4 5 6 like this again you can consider this respected arrow so this is the shear force diagram for the second and this is the shear force diagram for the third again this is the shear force diagram for the fourth again this is the shear force diagram for the fifth again this is the shear force diagram for the last section okay so again in the same process you can select the bending moment diagram also select the bending again you can consider the mode here as one click on apply so now we can see it will load your respected diagram which is related to the bottom section construction okay so now we can see this is the bottom section and this is the second section and this is the third section again this is the fourth section you can consider again you can consider this as fifth section again you can consider this as sixth section okay the studying of the properties which is related to the displacement and as well as your respective shear bending torsion under the action of uh, under the sequence of your respected construction is called construction sequence analysis in the same process you can load the output which is related to the construction sequence load case go to display option for that select the tables here so you can click on this uh, function types here select the auto load cases click on ok so select the joint displacement options here select this uh, story drift and you can consider the uh, element output depends upon your beam forces structural output you can consider here as base reaction click on ok so it will load your respected output which is related to the construction sequence analysis for the base reaction section and element forces section again your story drift considerations okay so this is the complete process uh, construction sequence analysis of g plus 5 building by using etap software so if you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected question thank you <music>